We've been seeing these termite mounds all along this road we've been driving along, they're just everywhere. And some of them are even taller than this. And we actually saw a cow rubbing its back up against one of them, so they must be so solid to take that weight leaning up against it. few hours time that would be nice ice cubes. Perfect. So we've rolled into camp, I don't know, relatively early, what have we been here, over an hour or something? And I'm going to treat myself to a nice warm shower, there's a hose, hose pipe here, although there's showers over there. The donkey's only just been lit, so our engine's warm. I wanted to show you one of the nice features about this Red Vision app. So I've wired up my water pump to the Red Vision system. So I can turn the water pump on and off from my phone, which is pretty cool. Nice? Very nice. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna start cooking dinner and tonight I'm gonna make a like a taco bowl so rather than having beef tacos I'm gonna do all of the kind of fillings and the sides but have some rice in a bowl with the beef mince, I'm gonna do some pepper, some onions, guacamole, maybe some salsa, and then some shredded lettuce. So, should be nice, some hot sauce as well, of course. So, we'll see how it goes. Just had the idea, thought it sounded like a nice, different alternative, something that we've not really done much before, and also healthy. So, yeah, let's do it. Good avo, these are really good avocados. As long as I don't pull this tree over.
Don't be shy with that beef, Chloe. Well, I think Chloe's outdone herself a bit there. Thanks, Harry. I love minced beef. This does look very good, I must mm. say. So we're gonna gobble this up, watch a little bit of iPad, mm -hmm. and then hit the hay, because tomorrow it's... We've got to get up early tomorrow. Right? Itosha. <gasps> Night, guys. Looking forward to seeing some animals. Thank you, Miss Lady. Hello. Oh, so much paperwork all the time. Have we paid yet? No. Oh, do you know how much it is? No. Oh. I'm gonna pay for park fees before you exit. Mm. We just got to the entrance gate of Itosha and they took all our vehicle details, asked us a few questions, um, we signed a few forms and now we're on our way. Um, and you don't actually pay at the entrance gate, you pay at your exit, which um, as Harry said makes sense because you may stay here for a few days longer than you plan to, so you just pay when you leave. And we've not driven far and we're now seeing some wildlife. There are so many zebras here, let me show you. So we just um, picked up a map in the tourist shop that's just in this little area here and made some breakfast. Harry's got a smoothie. Smoothie time. And Let's see how this one is actually. All right then, taste test, go on. It's nice. Try it. Zingy. It's nice. So we asked about the camping and there is availability at the campsite here which I'll put on the screen what it's called because I can't remember off the top of my head and there's also two campsites the lady was saying within the actual park itself. I think we're gonna drive and see how we go. I think one of the campsites is 75 kilometers from here and the other one is 150 kilometers from here. Anyway we're just gonna go and see how we go. Itusha National Park first opened in 1907. At that time the park was over 80,000 square kilometres in size. Today the park covers an area of 22,912 square kilometres. Itosha got its name from the Ovambo tribe. Itosha in their language means great white place. We have just stopped at a picnic toilet stop area to make some lunch. We've been here for, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours, and we've seen, we've seen a few animals. We haven't seen a lot of animals yet, and something that we will say is the roads are really bad. <laughs> they are so corrugated and lots of potholes and 
yeah, just quite rough driving. So the car has been rattling and shaking to bits. Everything's been falling out of the cubbies and stuff. So yeah, the roads are rough here, just to be warned if you guys do come. But we are making a burrito for lunch from the leftovers from last night's dinner, which will be yummy. And then we'll be refueled and continue the drive through Atosha. Nice with the tree in the background. Mm. At Itosha, there are said to be 114 mammal species, 340 bird species, and 110 reptile species. So we've just come through to the Halali, is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, camping and accommodation area and the accommodation is particularly expensive through Atosha kind of wherever you stay is around 400 to 450 Namibian dollars per person uh, that is obviously a foreigner's rate I think it is slightly cheaper if you are South African or Namibian but we've made the decision to keep driving another 75 kilometers to the Namatoni is that how you say that <laughs> area where there are more camping options there and also yeah just more accommodation options we've decided to just keep pushing on we should get to the namatoni area by about six ish maybe a little bit before we'll see how we got on so that's the plan and we just picked up some drinks and a nice ice cream so yeah let's go again along and we saw um, a few cars that were parked up watching something so obviously we thought it was something quite interesting for these people to be stopped looking at and so we turned along and pulled up beside them and they were actually looking at a leopard I'm just gonna pause myself there for a second. After taking a closer look at the videos and photos we took of this animal we realized that in fact this is a cheetah. You guys can ignore everything I'm saying about this being a leopard in the upcoming clips. It is definitely a cheetah. Right, let's get back to the video. And it had obviously just had a kill because it was eating something and had blood on its face. So we were there watching it and there were two jackals that were circling and trying to get any scraps that they could. And then it just walked off. So today we've seen a rhino and a leopard and we've already seen an Afri African buffalo, elephant and lion. So we have seen the big five in Africa. So it's an elephant, one of the big five. Yeah.
We've just set out camp and there is a watering hole which is just a short walk away so we're going to head there. We've got a couple of drinks and we're going to see if we can see any wildlife there and then we'll come back and cook dinner. I think we're having tacos tonight. We're definitely on a Tex-Mex theme in this video, aren't we? Yeah. Last night's meal was so good. Oh, and then we have burritos for lunch. Yeah, definitely a Tex-Mex <laughs> themed video. <laughs> so these are all of the chalets and stuff, the other accommodation as opposed to camping. I do have to say, I hate to say something negative, but for the price that you pay to stay here and to visit the park, and for this being one of the biggest tourist attractions within Namibia, you would kind of expect a little bit more for what you pay for. I think everything is very dated and not been renovated probably in quite a while. Um, the facilities, toilets and stuff that we've seen so far have been quite unclean, unfortunately and the staff haven't been the friendliest and most polite. Um, yeah, I mean, that has just been our personal experience so far. Um, obviously the wildlife that you see is just epic. Um, so if you are coming to Atosha, please don't let any of that put you off at all because the experience of seeing the wildlife is just the best. But yeah, it's, just been our observation so far. We did hear a few things before coming here, other people's opinions, which said something similar to what I've just said. So it seems to be kind of a general consensus is that this place maybe needs a bit of a zhuzh up. But yeah. So we were up early this morning to head out before it got too hot so we were out as the sun was rising and we saw a few animals. We have been driving for quite a while and haven't seen loads but we have seen a few and we did see some hyena. We saw about five or six and we haven't yet seen hyena actually. We saw one last night but it was very brief and it was getting quite dark so we didn't really see it in detail but we, we were able to... We have seen them on this to... trip though have we? No, so this has been the first time in Atosha. So we were able to stop and like really look at them and they're actually quite odd looking, <laughs> which is what I thought. They, I don't know, their face is quite strange and they've got like sort of round ears. What do you think they look like? I don't know, but they looked different to what I thought they would look like after sort of being able to sit and observe them for a little while. Anyway, we did a big loop and then came back to the Namatoni uh, camping area and 
made some breakfast. Now we are heading sort of north up to a different exit gate. It's, it was about 40 k's, isn't it? Not actually sure. I think I saw a sign that said it was about 40, 40 something k's. Um, to head up here, we will exit at this point, but it just gives us a little bit more time to see some wildlife here. Um, we have until midday to stay in the park. Um, if we stay longer, we can just pay for an extra day's visit. But I think we're probably just going to head out. It's 10.30 now, we've got an hour and a half, quite a lot of time to just have a little look. And then we'll be exiting the park. As you were, fellas. <laughs> So we've exited the park, um, spent two days in the park, one night. I think it was probably not the best time of year maybe to go to the park. Um, from what a lot of people were saying, it's, it's very cold. So we didn't see as much wildlife as we thought. Although we did see some really cool things, hyenas number one, which we saw five or six of those. And a cheetah, which was epic. And a rhino. And a rhino. Um, we've just fueled up at this local town. Can't remember what it is, we'll put it on the screen. It's like a proper, there's one road through and then there's like market stalls either side selling street food and there's like a proper little African town. Um, so I'm gonna put some air in the tires because we're on tarmac for a little bit now. And Chloe is consulting the map to work out whether we stay heading north or come south and then east up towards the Caprivi. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're just deciding whether to keep going north this way or whether to come down to here and then possibly come up and then we'll make our way this way towards the Caprivi strip, which is here. Potentially go into, into this park. So come up and down into this park and then make our way across and then we could enter into Botswana.